Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, we are going to review the IRCC visa processing timelines as of February 15th, 2023. This video will be useful for anybody who is about to submit an immigration application to Canada, someone who's recently submitted an immigration application to Canada, if you are inside of Canada and you are applying to extend your status, for a work permit, a visitor record, a study permit, etc. This video is also useful for anybody who is sponsoring a spouse or common law partner or even your grandparent or parents. And also we're going to be looking at permanent residence timelines through express entry, self-employed persons program, startup visa, and also the grant of citizenship. Let's get into the details. Hi everybody, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Leah Izakovitz. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant at Isaac Canada Immigration Consulting located in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. On this channel, we share Canadian immigration news and updates and information that might be relevant to you on your immigration journey to Canada. Let's get started. So we started making these weekly update videos a few weeks back. I have been getting positive responses and I recently got really positive feedback. So I do appreciate when you do leave your comments below and share what your experience has been like, if you've recently received an approval, um, and, and if you find these videos helpful, or if you have suggestions for other videos that you want us to provide in the future, let us know the topic that you want us to do videos on. I know for a lot of people, I, I think for a lot of people, you're watching this channel, you're watching these videos, especially these weekly updates, because you're literally waiting for your application to be processed. I've made some backlog videos as well. So check those out regarding the latest news on the immigration backlogs. I know it's been very frustrating for a lot of people. I get it. I don't like to see people waiting and in limbo. It's it's extremely frustrating and, and disappointing for a lot of people when you want to just plan your life and move forward. So I get that. I also made another video on the application tracker tool. So check that out if you do have an application that you can check the status on. And as always, you know, I do love to see your comments. I try to answer as many comments as possible, but please note if you have specific questions about your unique case, it's really difficult for me to answer specific questions because I don't know your full background and details. So if you do need immigration support specific to your needs, please book a consultation on our website at isaacimmigration.ca and I'd be happy to help you. Let's get into the details and let's get started on this week's visa processing timelines. Let's check out the timelines together. IRCC visa processing timelines as of February 15th, 2023. IRCC visa processing timelines are updated weekly. IRCC processing times are calculated based on how long it took to process 80% of applications in the past. According to IRCC's website, temporary residence processing times are based on data from the past 8 or 16 weeks. Most permanent resident and citizenship application processing times are based on data from the previous 6 months. Visitor visas from inside of Canada, 16 days for online application, 25 days for paper-based applications. Visitor visa extensions, 217 days for online application, 95 days for paper-based applications. Visitor visas from outside of Canada, Albania, 256 days, Bangladesh, 217 days, Barbados, 575 days, Congo, 189 days, Dominican Republic, 236 days, Ethiopia, 419 days, Germany, 166 days. Visitor visas from outside of Canada continued. Ghana, 93 days, India, 99 days, Hong Kong, 26 days, Iran, 70 days, Jamaica, 301 days, Jordan, 162 days. Kenya, 309 days. Visitor visas from outside of Canada continued. 
Kuwait, 318 days. Malaysia, 173 days. Mauritius, 154 days. Nepal, 19 days. Nigeria, 325 days. Oman, 315 days. Pakistan, 205 days. Visitor visas from outside of Canada continued. The Philippines, 55 days. Senegal, 224 days. South Africa, 144 days. South Korea, 44 days. Spain, 184 days. Sri Lanka, 151 days. Taiwan, 28 days. Tanzania, 300 days. Turkey, 139 days. Visitor visas from outside of Canada continued. Trinidad and Tobago, 179 days. Uganda, 325 days. The UAE, 316 days. The UK, 216 days. The USA, 33 days. Zambia, 143 days. And Zimbabwe, 153 days. Study permits from inside of Canada, five weeks. Study permit extensions, 146 days for online applications and 119 days for paper-based applications. Study permit from outside of Canada, still sitting at 10 weeks. Work permits inside of Canada for an initial and an extension. 161 days for online application, 59 days for paper-based applications. Work permits from outside of Canada. Just remember for work permit applications from outside of Canada, IRCC is prioritizing applications for essential occupations. If you're not applying to work in an essential occupation, your processing time may be longer than what's provided. Albania, four weeks. Bangladesh, 32 weeks. Barbados, 11 weeks. Cameroon, 20 weeks. Congo, 11 weeks. Dominican Republic, 13 weeks. Ethiopia, 11 weeks. Germany, 7 weeks. Work permits from outside of Canada continued. Ghana, 48 weeks. India, 8 weeks. Hong Kong, 7 weeks. Iran, 38 weeks. Iraq, 9 weeks. Jamaica, 15 weeks. Jordan, 8 weeks. Kenya, 11 weeks. Work permits from outside of Canada continued. Kuwait, 25 weeks. Malaysia, 32 weeks. Mauritius, 15 weeks. Nepal, 9 weeks. Nigeria, 49 weeks. Oman, 49 weeks. Pakistan, 67 weeks. Work permits from outside of Canada continued. The Philippines, 11 weeks. Senegal, 20 weeks. South Africa, 12 weeks. South Korea, 30 weeks. Spain, 7 weeks. Sri Lanka, 22 weeks. Taiwan, 13 weeks. Tanzania, 11 weeks. Work permits from outside of Canada continued. Trinidad and Tobago, six weeks. Turkey, 20 weeks. Uganda, 11 weeks. The United Arab Emirates, 34 weeks. The United Kingdom, 11 weeks. The United States of America, 17 weeks. Zambia, 11 weeks. And Zimbabwe at 11 weeks. PR applications, provincial nominee, 11 months for provincial nominees online via express entry and 21 months for provincial nominees regular. PR applications online via express entry, 16 months for Canadian experience class, 31 months for skilled workers federal, and 70 months for skilled trades federal. Economic immigration, 43 months for self-employed persons program, and 33 months for the startup visa. Family sponsorship, 14 months for spouse or common law partner living inside of Canada, 16 months for spouse or common law partner living outside of Canada, 
and 39 months for parents or grandparents. Citizenship grant, 23 months. Check IRCC's website for up-to-date information and current visa processing times. The link is in the description box below. I hope that you found this information useful. Put your comments down below if you'd like to share with others what your experience has been like, if you've recently received an approval, or any other comments that you'd like to share. Check out our other videos regarding the immigration backlog to get up-to-date numbers on what the current backlog is looking like, and then also on the application tracker tool. And also we have other videos too that you might find informative. So as always, if you need our support, please go to our website, book an initial consultation. We'd be very happy to help you. And I really hope you have a wonderful week. Until I see you next time, take care everybody, bye-bye.